So here we have a MacBook that has no backlight on an A1708 touch bar. Don't say that you will be working here on New Year's Eve. Dude, it's, it's a, what are you, what are you talking about? It's New Year's Eve. It's gonna be New Year's Eve. Of course we're gonna fix a MacBook on New Year's Eve. What else are you supposed to do? Our purpose in life is to fix MacBook. Every day, we're gonna fix a MacBook from now until death. Hey, we're gonna plug this MacBook in and see if it has a light on the screen when it turns on. They claim it doesn't. One way to find out. Here we go, just about to turn on. Huh, it has a backlight. Oh, it doesn't have a backlight when you lean the screen. Oh, you bastard, you're so fucked. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so here we go, bashing on Apple time. So, uh, this is going to be a new defect in a lot of the newer MacBook Pros. All the ones with a USB-C port, to my knowledge, are affected by this. And the new screen design that was used. So the new screen design doesn't just have a cable that attaches to the screen. It also has this little daughter board over here with cables that attach to another board on the screen. And these flex cables themselves manage to kill themselves and die. And those are not flex cables that somebody like me can replace. Those are flex cables created when the screen is manufactured as a part of the screen. And when those flex cables die, the screen will stop working when it's fully extended, and eventually you get to the point where the screen will only work when the laptop is open like this. So you kind of have to use the machine like this. And these are very expensive screens. If you look online at the pricing of them, they are stupidly expensive. You can have a computer like this that is well taken care of, but in spite of it being well taken care of, this will happen. And it's unique to this just because this is one of those new cutting edge designs. You know, this is what you get with the, you know, you want your new revolutionary cutting edge design, sure, but you're gonna get that with all the bugs of the new generation that has not been tested. And somebody actually created a website for this, flexgate.me. What is everybody's obsession with putting gate at the end of crap? This is dumb. Stop doing this. This is a site that explains the entire issue. Flexgate.me, very stupid name for a website, but they document the issue very well. So look, it works. You have theater lights, and then as soon as you open it up all the way, it's done. This video exhibits it very well. Yeah, this is, this is dumb. And that's what this person needs. So now you've got to sell them on needing a new screen, and they're going to go, but I want you to just replace the cable. And it's like, yeah, you can, because it's kind of manufactured with the screen. It's like, yeah, but I want you to just replace the cable. It's like, yeah, but you can't, because it's kind of manufactured with the screen. It's like, yeah, but I want you to just, it's like, oh, fuck. It sucks. Next, not much I can do here unless they want to replace the screen. Sad. Very sad. Since it's a 2016 version, no warranty from Apple to it? Hell no, that thing's over a year old. It's time to buy a new one. You gotta buy a new one. Gotta buy a new one. Time to buy a new one. You wanna buy a new one? 